In this video we are going to see how to enable the different operation modes. All DVAR IP all-in-one systems can operate in three different modes. Full video recording and management system, pure video recording system and the iSCSI storage. To enable one of these modes you need to access the Windows environment. On the desktop there is a folder named Tools. In the folder you are going to find several Windows patch files that can be run. Disable PVMS. This patch file is going to disable all PVMS related services and it will as well delete all the PVMS firewall rules. Disable PVMS and VRM. This patch file is going to disable all PVMS and VRM services and as well as the previous patch file is going to change the firewall rules. This is going to set the operation mode of the device to iSCSI only. There are several other patch files such as Disable Superductor Service or Enable Superductor Service which basically does what the name says. is going to enable or disable the Superductor Service. The Format Data Hard Drives patch file is going to format all the hard drives inside the unit. Make sure that any important information is backed up because after this operation is complete, all the information from the hard drives is going to be lost. In order to see the result of what the patch file does, before running it, we are going to navigate to the Windows Services page. If we have a look at the services that are running on the server, we can see that the BVMS Central Server service and several other BVMS services are running. Let's go back to the Tools folder and run the first patch file. Go back now to the Windows Services page. Refresh the page. And we can notice that all the BVMS related services are disabled and they are not running. In case you want to re-enable the services, use the re-enable batch file. It basically works the other way around. The services were disabled and now are running and on automatic. As a final note, the operation mode that the unit is going to be used as needs to be decided at the beginning of the project. In case you want to change the operation mode after a certain period of time, it is highly recommended to do a system recovery before doing so. You do this to avoid conflicts in the configuration, such as storage blocks are already allocated. Learn more about our products by accessing our Bosch Security and Safety Academy at www.boschsecurity.com.